What's up divers? Today I'm in San Diego and we're going to be talking about wreck diving. Mamanos. Welcome to our channel, Asul Unlimited. My name is Sarah. And like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about how to scuba dive on a wreck. I am in beautiful San Diego, California, which has some wonderful wrecks. And as a side note, for any of you van lifers out there, it is also a pretty chill place to hang out for a while. I've even had the opportunity to collaborate with a fellow YouTuber, Anton, who does tours of vans and different kinds of spaces that people are choosing to live in, kind of alternative lifestyles. So I gave him a tour of my van, and if you would like to see that tour, make sure you check it out the link is in the description below and like and subscribe to his channel just to show him some Asul Unlimited love cool all right so talking about wreck diving what is actually considered a wreck there is a misconception that wreck diving is always sunk in boats however anything that is man-made and underwater is considered part of wreck diving. So that could be sunken planes, it could be fallen towers. So there's a lot of things we can explore while going wreck diving. As for certification and training, if you want to go down and just see the wreck, whatever structure that is, and you just want to see the outside of it, no special training is required. It just has to be within the depth that your certification level allows you to go to. That being said, if you want to do the really interesting stuff, which is the penetration. That is the technical term, penetration. You will need some very specific skills. You can get these specialized skills in the Patty Rec Specialty course. If you're interested in taking that course, just send us an email and we'll set you up. How do people go inside wrecks and not get lost? This right here is a reel. Okay, this is what we use. It's one of the special tools that we use in wreck diving. And learning how to properly lay down lines is one of the key skills in the wreck specialty course. No one should ever go inside of a wreck without leaving reference lines. Not only is it helpful in keeping a clear path in and out of the wreck, but it's also hugely important for safety if you happen to have a light failure or get disoriented. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go over how to lay a line because you should do that one-on-one -on -one with an instructor. There's really no messing around with this type of diving. Important notes about wreck diving. There's usually a lot of sediment around wrecks, so it's important to have really good buoyancy and to also choose the fin kicking style that makes the most sense, that won't stir up the bottom. This is usually the frog kick, right? Or the flutter frog kick, if in a tight space. This is important for not only you know, keeping the wreck and the creatures around the wreck intact and unharmed, but it's also just a courtesy factor for other people exploring the wreck. When you go wreck diving, it's really best to take a torch. It's usually dark down there, and the interesting things are in the nooks and crannies of the wreck. So by having a light, you can actually see all of those spaces. One thing to note though, you wanna make sure when you're using a torch to have good torch etiquette, don't be shining your light in people's faces. Also be mindful of the creatures that you're looking at. You don't wanna be blinding them. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Use nitrox. A lot of wrecks are on the deeper side. So by using nitrox within the safety limits, you will get a lot more time to explore on the wreck. Nitrox is your friend. Be aware of your air consumption. Wreck diving for a lot of divers is a special occasion. So whenever we go and do something different, we tend to get excited. We either breathe more or we just don't pay as close attention to our gauges and that's really not a safe practice. So make sure that you talk about this with your buddy and know exactly how you're going to communicate your air levels and also what your turnaround points are going to be. Check in and watch out for each other. Where can you go wreck diving? Well, right now I'm sitting in San Diego. They have a wonderful place called Wreck Alley. I went for a day trip with Water Horse Charters and they took me out to the Yukon, the Ruby E, and the NOSC 
Great Tower. The day was so much fun with their crew. They're super approachable, friendly, and also really safety oriented. And they give you lots of flexibility to do the dives that you want to do. Their dive briefings were really thorough and the whole crew was helpful throughout the day. Just really mindful of everybody, their equipment, their needs. It was a wonderful day out on the water here in San Diego. I highly recommend checking them out. I have left their contact information and website in the description below. So just contact them and let them know that you came from this video. Water Horse Charters also does dive trips out to the kelp forest here off the coast and even into Mexican waters. I can't say enough about this team, just go diving. Remember our altitude diving video? Lake Tahoe is also a great place for wreck diving. If you haven't seen the altitude diving video, I've linked that in the description below as well. This list is getting quite long, isn't it? <laughs> but that's there for you to check out. There are also wrecks all over the United States. Just to name a few places that are quite famous, Florida, Hawaii, Michigan, North Carolina, Texas. There may be a road trip in my future of some of these places, so stay tuned for that. Outside of the U.S., there are tons of wrecks all over the world. You can check them out in Mexico, all over Europe, like in France and Scotland, Malta, and really all over the planet, Indonesia, the Red Sea, Australia. They're everywhere. So if you're really fascinated by history, go for the Paddy Wreck specialty course and just start Googling these things and look into what kind of dives would really be interesting for you. That about does it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a big ol' thumbs up. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. is so fun. It's super quiet and peaceful. <laughs>